Welcome, Virgo, to your spiritual reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on in your cards. We have the Oracle of Chaldea. And the next card out is Get Clear of the Situation with Awareness. Very nice. So the Oracle of Chaldea over here is kind of the overall card and message for um, this reading. We'll get to the other two cards in a minute. Um, this is actually talking about the perfect timing that you feel comfortable in actually starting this process. And this is not timestamp. You know, healing is never time stamped. It's about when you're comfortable, when you feel like you want to get clear about a situation um, to get the overall awareness of what is going on. Um, so with the Oracle Child Year, they're just allowing you to understand that this is your healing journey. Make sure that you're using enthusiasm when doing so. If you feel like you're just pushing yourself to do something you don't really feel comfortable doing, don't do it. It's not your time. Right, because you don't want to force things to happen more quickly than it feels a natural process. So it should be natural for you. Right? It says at other times the mind may need to be patient as the body processes an experience. Trust in your own timing and rhythm. There's no need to be impatient or to judge yourself. You are summoning the spiritual fortitude to tackle an issue which has previously held you back. When the time is right, the healing shall happen more easily than if you try to just push forward. Um, at the wrong time. Things are going to work out. You just have to be positive. And when you feel more positive about actually, you know, getting started into this without just trying to force things, you can't force things to make them happen, right? I mean, you know, you go to counseling and there always feels like, you know, I've been to counseling, right? I've seen that. Um, and it just feels like they're just always trying to push you push you to do this, push you to do that. Well, it's like, you know what? We all have our own natural timing. Um, you have to feel comfortable. You have to get clear about the situation. So Spirit's saying, get clear about what it is you are spiritually healing from. Um, get clear about what it is you want. What is the outcome you're looking for? Is it the perfect timing? Um, and then this way it will open up the awareness, right, of the overall situation. So, you know, could be a couple of months before you actually get the overall awareness, but at least then you're patient enough to have what you need, right? So, um, within the get clear, it's taking the moment to stop and think about what your attentions truly are regarding the situation. This is necessary to ensure you manifest what you want rather than what you don't want. And actually writing out your list and getting clear about all the parameters that are going around you. How am I going to get through this? What are the feelings that I have for this, right? And then with the overall awareness over here, it's talking about no matter what is happening in your life right now, spirituality can assist you in making sense of what's going on around you and within it. Valuing what it is you want, valuing what the outcome will be, right? And bringing the support and comfort of yourself. This will help you develop a deeper connection to your spirituality in a healthy manner, because that's what the Chaldea is saying. It needs to be healthy. It need, you know, you need to be able to have that connection to yourself and guidance to what you need. So before just, you know, trying to make things happen so fast, right? Just keep it slow. There's, you have your whole life, right? This isn't like if you don't do it, the house is going to burn down, right? your whole life to get clear. You have your whole life to figure out what's going on around you and to get clear about the situation to heal. Healing doesn't come in a day and some things need to take more time than others. So going over here to the get clear. Yeah. When you don't feel like you're in any kind of disappointment or distress, that's the time, right? Because now you're getting clear about the situation and you're saying, well, you know, it's not really 100, it's affecting me, but not 100% the way it was before. I don't feel like I'm out in the cold. I don't feel super distressed like I was before. 
This way, you know, hey, you know what? It's time for me to start healing from this. This way, you know, it's more of a kind of a monkey on my back instead of just a, uh, I don't know, swords in my head and in my heart. And I'm, you know, completely five of cups, right? Just down and out. Um, so that's always the best time to start healing is when you can actually kind of look at it and say, you know, I really want to get this over with. I don't want these nightmares. I don't want this pain anymore. Um, and really, I think it's an acknowledgement that you're ready. This will help your ship. Your ship's coming because you can see yourself now walking away from this, this situation to allow new ships to dock. Um, and that way you can kind of, I guess you can say kind of burn that other ship down, right? It's like time. It's time for me to not worry about what you're doing. If we're talking about a relationship, I'm not going to worry about whether or not you're coming back. I'm not going to worry anymore about whether or not you love me. I'm not going to worry about whether or not you think about me. I'm just going to think, you know what, I have to move on. I'm going to get this done and think clear about where I'm moving without worrying about what you're doing. That's just an example. Take it how it resonates. You, can, you know, if it's not your story, throw it away. But it's the good idea of an example, right? Because there's no more worrying about that. That's when you know it's time. Then you can say, you know, I'm not really worried about what they're doing anymore. And I'm not lying to myself either. It's not one of those conversations where they're like, and what do you think that, what do you think, you know, Steve is doing? And you're like, I don't know. I don't worry about that. But you know you do. <laughs> Come on. We've all been there. Um, you know, one way in our life, we've all been there. Um, it's really when you actually can say it and actually, I'm um, not trying to convince yourself. It's not a convention. It's, it's actually, I really don't give a crap. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. I wish them the best. You know what I mean? Um, and you don't have to try to convince somebody else that you're not thinking about that. That's when you know it's time. Yeah. And this way you can let go without feeling like you're holding on to anything. Um, and if it's a situation too where you're still mad at that person um, and when they can ask you a question about that person and you're saying, I don't care, you know, they can roll over and dig a grave and die. Um, when you don't feel that way anymore, you know now you're moving past that to completely heal um, without getting upset that that name came up or any of these things, right? You get clear about the situation and say, wow, you know what? It's kind of crazy because now I really am feeling starting to feel good. I really can start healing from this because the more that I really think about it, um, I really don't care what they're doing. Um, and then that's when you can start making the blessings and saying, you know, I just wish them the best. Um, I really don't like them. I hope they stay away from me. You know, things of this nature to where it doesn't affect you in any kind of emotional state. That's what healing is, right? And being coming aware, and that's when the awareness comes. Whoa, wait a minute. I don't have any convictions of them. I don't feel anything like that anymore. I just hope that, you know, whatever they do, they do whatever they do so that I can move on. Yes, move on and do what I want to do with the chariot over here. And this gives you new directions. And having the awareness that you have moved past that. Yeah. Yes, Taking back your emperorhood, knowing where you stand, and having the stability to do so. And it's going to make you feel like you are so empowered because now you have the, all this empowerment because you don't feel like they have any control over you at all. There's no, the reason you had, they had control was because they're controlling your, your emotions, the way you think, right? So there's nothing. You've broken all the strings. You're no longer attached to that at all. And this will be justified. Wow. And then the justice will come out and say, now you are balanced. This is justified. The truth has come out. And you have received the healing that you needed to, you know, heal from. So just make sure that you keep it balanced. I mean, I see a lot of balance in here. And that's why Chaldea is like, you really just have to make sure, you know, that you're on the perfect timing for this. Because otherwise, if you're not, you're going to be here. You're going to be trying to crutch, trying to get through this, trying to do this on your, you know, trying to, I want it gone. Um, but that's not the way it works, right? To do it when we feel we need to settle down a little. Yes, and this will bring the new beginnings and bringing that leap of faith. So you'll know when the time is right to leap off that mountain and take the risk and, and really um, make the effort to really want this to happen because you'll feel the balance. It's all about, I just really feel this perfect timing for you guys over here. Okay. 
Alrighty. And we have these last two cards. And these are just um, healing cards, how you can do this. Um, this is the self-care deck. You can do this by energy work. Meditating is always a great thing. Keeping yourself balanced. There's that balance again. And then, of course, alone time, which is great for you, Virgo, because taking that alone time will allow you to reflect um, and really get your energy to be balanced and really get clear about the situation. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.